These are the 27 craziest mic'd moments in the NBA. And coming in at number 27, watch Jimmy Butler teach Joel Embiid how to play basketball. Joe, shoot it. Shoot the three. Shoot it. One can only imagine what could have been. But next up, there's no imagining. Jay Crowder speaks whatever is on his mind. A total uh, impeding. Oh, yes, let's say <laughs> Dang, I didn't know Daniel Theus and Eminem were long lost relatives. Just like I didn't know LeBron James almost got into a fight with his own teammate. That's that tip from Powell. Double team, double team. LeBron going after. LeBron still poking for On the floor, KCP. Now to LBJ. Trying to bounce it to AD. Now we got to go the other way. Powell all the way to score. Second quarter. Danny Green might be old, but LaCoach ain't cutting him any slack. But it's still not as ruthless as LeBron's response to a fan. They don't forget, <laughs> do they? No, they don't forget. <laughs> Dang, that joke never gets old. Just like Chris Paul's reaction to this next play. Robertson for three. Hell no. Andre Robertson isn't the only one embarrassing himself. So is Patrick Beverly. Points for Golden State. He's got 11. 16 have come from Lou Williams. Curry inside. Jones into the defense of Beverly with a foul. Curry with his second foul. He also leads Golden State in scoring with 13 points. For reference, it's been almost four years since this comment, during which Curry won a championship and finals MVP, whereas Beverly has played for four different teams. Embarrassing, but not as embarrassing as the moments ahead. It's coming up, Ben Simmons trolls Yusef Nurkic, Shaq gives a legendary press conference response, and a referee roasts LeBron James. However, before we get to those moments, it's time for number 21, because if you know Jose Alvarado, you know he's known for one thing, steals. But while most fans appreciate his hustle and hard work ethic, not all NBA players are fans, especially D'Angelo Russell. So you only know, my man Grand Theft Alvarado made him pay. Did he shoot? Yes, I can shoot. Safe to say, Russell is staying away from GTA in the future. On the other hand, LBJ ain't afraid to speak his mind. If a call doesn't go his way, the entire arena is going to hear him loud and clear. It ain't our ball. It ain't our ball. It ain't our ball. It's our ball, ain't it? It's our ball! Hey! It's our ball! It's our ball! Dame just laid the ball up down there! It's our ball! Dang, someone buy this man a Happy Meal. He needs a pick-me-up. This wasn't the only time he could have used some comfort food. Because on February 18, 2021, the Nets were facing the Lakers. When late in the first quarter, the Lakers sent LeBron to the line. Who's all on the floor for the Lakers? Irving, the only starter on the floor right now for the Nets. We, uh, we'll have... Nah, bruh, that's cold. But not as cold as our next moment. It's so cold, it gives even the Ice Bucket Challenge a run for his money. Kevin Garnett, he has been excellent at the free throw line this season. And of course, misses on the first attempt. Paul Pierce trying to check in for Kevin Garnett. Why Pierce gotta violate the Teague brothers like that? He's out here trying to start a fight, which reminds me of Giannis, cause he doesn't want to fight. He wants a magic show. Look up, magic, I want magic now. Now this is the time, come on. Something tells me coaching could be in Giannis' future. But while Giannis was coaching up Luka, Curry was keeping a close eye on King James. I ain't been this close to this ever. Hey. I'm with Curry on this one. That pregame ritual is hella dope. That said, there's a fine line between doing something dope and doing something stupid. Just ask Russell Westbrook, because with only eight minutes remaining, Westbrook's Rockets were trailing Dame's Trailblazers by 14 points. In other words, the game was all but over. But that still didn't stop Russ from subscribing to the channel. Well, that and talking smack. Westbrook works to the near boundary. The flurry of moves, Dame stays right with him and then chops him. Talking to Dame now? Oh, oh he is. Yeah, oh, just... Dude knows how to talk the talk, but can't walk the walk. However, if you thought that was bad, check out what a 73% free throw shooter said to one of the greatest free throw shooters of all time. They're really making sure that they give back. <laughs> Steph is thinking, I'm the greatest free throw shooter of all time. It shouldn't happen to me. What's wrong with this rim? Someone check this. I'll give it two. I ain't never seen it. 
My G missed one free throw, and everyone acts like it's Y2K again. Although number 13 is straight up comedy. Cause it's no secret everyone wants to be like Mike, but never in a million years did I think that also applied to referees. But he didn't touch with both hands, yeah, that's the thing. You think so, Michael? 55 hits, two to come. Michael, I didn't see two hands on him, Michael. But I believe you. But I believe you. I saw one. I saw one. I saw the one hand. The NBA script writers really outdid themselves with this call. But do you know what's even wilder than this call? What Michael Jordan does when he gets to the free throw line? Makes it what three games now, right? Jordan. If taunting a seven foot one giant and closing your eyes isn't evidence that MJ is built different, I don't know what else is. Although, do you know who isn't built differently? Carl Anthony Towns. Because in the 2022 playoffs, his confidence got the best of him against the Memphis Grizzlies. One second, the Timberwolves are up 51 to 34 in the second quarter. And next up, they get outscored 25 points in the fourth quarter, which all could have been prevented if it wasn't for this. Yeah, we in Minnesota now. Like I said after the media, all right, cool. We got to come back to our house now. I only seen them at our, their house. Let's just say there's a big difference between playoff Jimmy and playoff Cat. Just like there's also a big difference between the previous moments and what's still to come. Now that we've reached the top 10, it's time to enter a different stratosphere. And what better way to enter a new stratosphere than the walking brick himself, Ben Simmons. Ain't no way Simmons just called Nurkic ass. I mean, this dude shoots so many bricks, he's built houses. Which reminds me of Grant Williams, because this dude shouldn't be talking at any cost. <coughs> Game two of the Eastern Conference Finals, but somehow, this incident with Jimmy Butler isn't the first time his mouth got him in trouble. Story, Grant Williams, Ken Wright. Mm -hmm. oh, How my man gonna not miss one, but two game-winning free throws? There's only one explanation, karma. Speaking of karma, check out this exchange between Shaq and a reporter in the 2006 Finals. Shaq, let's just say that a uh, snake bit your mom right up here, right in the chest area. Would you be willing to suck the venom out to win the title? No, but I will with your wife. <laughs> Leave it to Shaq to take a stupid question and then turn it into a legendary response. Yet this wasn't the only awkward situation that turned into comedic gold. Just recently, the Lakers and Nuggets were going head to head in the Western Conference Finals. When out of the blue, LeBron starts trouble with the referee, physically. As an NBA referee, you need to have thick skin. But that's never been a problem for Scott Foster. Meanwhile, Zach Randolph might be even tougher because one time he spotted DeMarcus Cousins acting all tough. So what my man do? He decided to humble him. Late in his career and just battling every... Safe to say, this isn't a guy you mess with at bar, but neither is Kobe Bryant. See, it was the 2008 Olympic semifinals between USA and Argentina. A rematch from the 2004 Olympic semifinals where Argentina upset Team USA. So this time around, Team USA was out for revenge. And lucky for them, they had the Black Mamba on their side. Because midway through, Kobe started talking trash to Argentina's Luis Scola. However, this wasn't your ordinary exchange. Instead of speaking English, the Black Mamba went a different route. Quote after that game, after the United States lost to Argentina, he spoke to Ginobili as the assistant coach in the United States. He said, he may be a better competitor than he is a player. Tonight, he was both. It's moments like these that showcase how special the Redeem team truly was. But if you thought that was nostalgic, you also need to watch this moment between two all-time greats. You got to take this game over. You got to shut the fuck up. You Wow, Katie sure loves to talk, which brings us to the three craziest mic moments in NBA history. Because this time, we aren't entering a different stratosphere. We are entering a different universe. A universe where integrity is honored and the ball never lies. See, back in 2019, Larry Nance Jr. was handed a very controversial flagrant foul. But rather than making a big fuss about it like most players, he let the Knicks prove his point for him. Bali. So the two free throws and possession. That's a very big call at this point in the game. Ball don't lie, just yelled out. That's the old Rasheed Wallace phrase. <laughs> Ball don't lie twice. 
When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Let the ball do the talking. But if you thought Draymond Green is taking that advice to heart, guess again. He's always going to voice his opinion on the court. But just in case he doesn't get a chance on the court, don't fret. He'll let it be known on his podcast. It doesn't matter how offensive his opinion is, he's going to speak his truth. Just ask Paul Pierce. Chasing that farewell tour. They don't love you like that. By 17. By 46. By 14498. Victory here in Oakland. Ouch. Sometimes the truth hurts. But then again, we can't all be Kobe Bryant. He's truly one of a kind. Actually, I take that back. Don't get me wrong. There's only one black mamba. There is one person who was cut from the same cloth as Kobe. Michael Jordan. As it turns out, Kobe grew up watching MJ. In fact, he admired MJ so much that he and his dad saved up their money to watch MJ from the nosebleed section. So lo and behold, when Kobe enters the NBA, he wanted to be just like his idol, trash talking and all. But what happens when two players with the same mindset and mentality go head to head? Well, fortunately for us, we don't have to wonder anymore. In 2003, the world was lucky enough to watch them battle in Jordan's final All-Star game. And boy, it would not disappoint. Because in addition to a great basketball game, you also got to watch a back and forth between two of the game's best trash talkers. Let's battle all day long. Oh, I know you ain't talking. I know you ain't talking. Hey, you only got three now. I get six. <laughs> I would get that foul. You only got three now. <laughs> I know where you're going. You got to get up quick. If you knew where I was going, why you go for the face? Like, after you face the ball, where else you going to go? You left your feet. Yeah, but where else you going to go? In the game, I go for you. I spun all the way around. I go for these ribs right here. That's all right. Hey, no, I shoot them better when the clock going down. Dang, that was special to watch. But what makes this moment the best isn't just the words being spoken. Instead, it's about the budding friendship between two of the NBA's biggest competitors. Despite their unyielding desire to win at all costs, it's clear they have so much respect for each other. It's like watching two brothers go head to head. They're all competitors. Yet at the end of the day, they're even greater friends. It's possible you'll never see a friendship like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant again. Just like there's certain moments you're only lucky enough to see once. From dribbling with your head and playing with your shoe. These are 29 NBA moments you wouldn't believe if not filmed. I'll see you real ones later.